Not too long ago, I had an opportunity to get a call from my bishop who told me that the stake president wanted to come meet with me. So I go in there, I'm a little bit nervous, and I was like, okay, Prez, just laid on me, cut the chit chat. <laughs> and he's like, okay, I would like to call you to be a ma at Trek. <laughs> Y'all clapping and stuff, but I was like, come again, Prez. I was like, look, yo, I talked to Jesus this morning. I say my prayers. He didn't say nothing about no Star Trek, <laughs> let alone a Mormon Trek. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, a Mormon Trek is a reenactment of the LDS pioneers travel from Nauvoo into the Salt Lake Valley. And, you know, I... Like, I'm be honest with y'all, I think it's weird. I'm black, right? So we have a history of oppression, we have slavery, and we have things that oppress us, and, I, and that's why I relate to my Mormon brothers and sisters. But can you imagine if my parents were like, Zandra, we're going to send you to plantation vacation <laughs> for the summer. Right? Everybody would call the people on them. Everybody, they would be like, so you're going to reenact slavery and civil rights. It's going to be great. You're going to connect with your ancestors. So I'm a little nervous about this as he's explaining to me what Trek is. And I said, but, okay, Prez, what, like, what do we wear on this Trek thing? He's like, oh, my gosh. Like, he got so excited. He's like, we dress up like pioneers. <sighs> I was like, here's the thing, Prez. If you dress up like a pioneer, you're probably going to look like a really cute pioneer. But if I dress up like a pioneer, I'm going to look like a runaway slave. <laughs> On the right, we have a picture of me dressed as a pioneer. <laughs> up top is the picture of the other kids on track. Down below is the depiction of the Underground Railroad. <laughs> I'm just going to ask y'all to tell me who I look like. Y'all, amen. So I agreed, I went, and I had a great time on Trek. And one of the things I love the most about Trek is that we got to walk on behalf of another, of an actual pioneer that had made that journey. And I got to walk on behalf of Jane Elizabeth Manning James. And she is a, oh, I love Jane, yes. She is a pioneer whose legacy that she has left has come in and touched and embraced me at times when I needed it most, especially in building my testimony in the gospel. Jane knew that this is where God told her that she needed to be. So she rallied her family and she said, look, guys, I know this is going to be hard, but God's going to be with this. And Jane, along with the other saints, faced innumerable trials. Jane gave birth on that trek when they got to Salt Lake that shared history of oppression and that shared history of persecution that had brought the saints together now that they were in Salt Lake experiencing times of prosperity, it didn't last for everyone. Jane and her family began to experience differences. People treated them differently than they did in Nauvoo. And there was division among the saints, division based on color. But Jane remained firm in her testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it had saved Jane. Jane knew that the gospel of Jesus Christ had saved her. We must shore up our testimonies so that no perception or person or policy keeps us from the life-saving benefits of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen.